Hi everyone! In this lecture, we are going to develop the topic and task addition functionality for our Flask application. First of all, I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to import uh, the request, which is going to contain all the information about the request that come from the browser to our Flask server. I'm going to grab the flash, which allows us to provide flash messages like uh, task added successfully or a task uh, or enter a new title for your task, something like that. Then we are going to have redirect where we redirect the user and then the URL for. After we have inserted these, now you remember that we have provided the comment for adding topic functionality and adding task functionality, but we didn't provide any kind of code for it. So first I'm going to handle the, uh, the topic addition functionality. I'm going to get rid of this topic. So whenever, uh, let's just go to the browser first. So I'm going to come in here. Now there are going to be two cases. Case number one, when the user tries to add a topic for which the user has not inserted any topic name. Then we want to handle that first. So I'm going to say if not request, which handles all of the information about the request that is going to come from the uh, HTTP uh, made by the browser. Then we are going to grab the form. Now there is an interesting uh, attribute of HTML that we can use in here. So for this input, where is it? For this input, what do we have? We have a name attribute, which is a topic title. So we say that if this name attribute, which is the topic title, uh, relating to this, if there is any input that is empty and the user tries to submit it, then we want to show a certain message. So basically, we are tracing this input based on this attribute's value. So let me pass that in here, topic title. And then we are going to say, we are going to show to the user a message that is going to be uh, enter a title, oops, uh, title for your new uh, topic. So basically, I just want to show to the user that the user has not entered anything and the user should enter something. In the else clause, it means that the user has provided the necessary information. And how do we want to process that? So first, we are going to grab this topic variable and we are going to grab the topic class. From there, we want to store the topic that the user has entered within this topic variable. How can we grab it? Again, it is located within this request dot form. Uh, the same, it's going to be the same, um, it's going to have the same name for the name attribute, name HTML attribute. So, so when the user enters a topic, that topic is going to be stored within this topic variable. Then what do we want to do with that? Basically, we want to add it to the database, right? So I'm going to say db.session. So db.session.add. I'm going to say, what is what do we want to add? It's going to be the topic. Let's uh, commit the changes as well. Session.commit. And then we want to show another message to the user using Flash. So we are going to say, topic added successfully. Is that accurate? Topic added successfully. There we go. So basically what we did was we handled that request. So uh, now we need to take care of uh, this flash messages that we have added. Basically, we need to add it within the HTML as well. So in here, I'm going to get rid of this label. I'm just going to comment it out. I'm going to leave it here. So what do we have in here? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some HTML in here. And that HTML is going to be at the bottom of everything else that we have. So um, it's going to be outside this form. I'm going to create a div and I'm going to call it message. I'm going to give it a class of message. And now, because we have two messages, we need to loop through them. So I'm going to say for message uh, in get underscore flashed 
underscore messages. This is the uh, uh, method that is available to us. Through this method, we can grab the flash messages that we have provided here. We can this message and this one through this get flashed messages. We can grab them from the Python code and insert them into our HTML. I'm going to create a div, and the div's content is going to be the message itself. And then let's close our loop. So I'm going to have to say and four. There we go. So let's save that. Hopefully there are no errors. Let me. Uh, we didn't run the file now, did we? Let's say Python. Let's grab the name of this file. Rename it, copy it, put it right here.py. All right, we don't have any errors. That's a good thing. So if I try to say add topic, we see that it says topic added successfully. It shouldn't say that. Um, it returns topic. I think there is something missing in our code. Oh, it is. it, it shows this message. Now, I don't want to show this message. Because if the topic is added, uh, this flash method is going to take care of it. If the topic is not added, then this flash method is going to take care of it again. So we don't really need this. We just want to redirect the user to, let's say, URL 4. Now, in this, in the case of the topic, we just want to redirect it to the home page. And what is the view function that is responsible for the home page? It is display topics. This is responsible. This view function is responsible for the home page. So let's just pass it right here. Let's put it there. Let's refresh the page. Let me just go back. Okay, it says enter a topic for, uh, enter a title for your new topic. Let's refresh the page a couple of times. So now if I say add topic, it says enter a title for your new topic. And if I say um, Django, um, server i'm just gonna say server is not running is not running uh i can't think of anything else right now and when you hit enter it says django server is not running and what is the flash message topic added successfully so so far what we have done is just to recap we have said that if the topic is the input is empty then show this message if the input is full save it to the database and show this message we can take a look at that in our database as well. Okay, let's just write SQL. Just open it up. Let's say localhost uh, postgres uh, 5432. Uh, po pass this is username postgres password 1234567 um let's connect our database it's blog underscore poster and you're connected to this database i could zoom in yeah and let's grab let's take a look at the tables these are the tables but how can we select data so i'm going to say select all every, all the columns from the topics we didn't we have not added anything in the tasks yet so there we go we have our flask and then topic ID two, we have Django server is not running. I'm sure we can come up with better ideas or better topics. Um, let me just think about this for a sec. So we have added this. Now we need to add the other functionality for the tasks as well. Before doing that, I would like to show you something cool that you can do with these flash messages. So if you go to uh, the flash message that says enter a title for your new topic, you can specify a color for that as well. So I could say red, but then red has a high contrast. It's not that eye friendly. I'm just going to provide it with a color of tomato. And when the task is successful, I'm going to pass in a color of lawn green. Now, for the successful edition, we have long green. For an empty title, we are going to have tomato. Now, we need to add them in our HTML as well. So, it is uh, going to come from something called category. And within the get flashed messages, we need to provide with categories set to true. 
and then we need to provide an inline style so we are going to say style color now based on which category it is because we have one uh, div element but we have two messages so we might have a successful message or a not so successful message therefore we cannot provide uh, or hard code the value of that so whichever category it is if it is the category that is this part then we're going to have a color of tomato if it is this category then we're going to have a color of long green so let me save that let me save this one as well let's just reload the page so now if you click on add topic you should see that text with the color of tomato which it does not show it for some reason just click on it so if i come here we see that we have uh, this is not actually like a proper css because proper css requires a value but it it also works sometimes <laughs> so we have our tomato let me just take a look at so we have for category categories with categories true get flashed messages style color is going to be equal to the oh this is misspelled category save this let's rerun the server there we go let's refresh the page let's click on it and there we go you can see the color is tomato however if you add a new topic for example um, CSS rule CSS property not being applied or something if you had enter and there you can see it says topic added successfully but in green so this part is done we need to move on to the next part where we need to add the functionality for the task addition so in here what I would like to do is first I'm going to get rid of this comment now it's going to be almost the same it's going to be almost identical so we are going to say if not request.form form and let's grab the input so if I go into this HTML uh, this is the name there we go the name attribute for that input now if, if this is empty what do we want to do we want to show a flash message to the user that says enter a description for your new task and what do you want the color to be it's going to be tomato there we go and in the else it means that the user has actually filled out that form so let's store it within this task variable and I'm going to grab the task class um, where is it because we are showing the description we just want to we just need to grab the description so it's going to be description is going to be equal to where is it hiding or where can we extract that data from uh, we can extract it from the form itself so let's pass that there and now each task is going to have is going to be relating to an to a topic therefore we need to pass in the topic id as well because they're dependent upon the topics uh, now when the user has entered that we need to add it to our database so db.session.add it's going to be this task let's commit the changes session.commit there we go and we want to show another message which is going to be something like this uh, oops uh, we are going to save task added successfully and after that we want to redirect the user to the same page so redirect URL 4 the reason that we are using URL 4 is instead of hard coding the URL we are passing the name of the view function that is responsible for it and whenever the user uh, you can ch when you change the URL you're not going to see an error because basically the view function is going to handle it so whatever the URL is doesn't really matter we just want to trace it back to view function we talked about this a lot in our first flask application and let me just put it in quotes also we need to pass in that topic ID uh, so it is redirected to the same topic ID let's save that now we need to bring some changes in here as well inside the topics tasks HTML 
we need to provide that message. So outside the form, I'm going to create a div and I'm going to give it a class of message. And in here, we need to loop through this. So for category and message in uh, get flashed messages, we are going to say with underscore categories, with categories is going to be set to true. Let's end our loop first. So we are going to say and for. And now in here, we have a div. Uh, and this is going to have a style, color. And the value for that is going to be dependent on the category. So which category it is. And the content is going to be the message. So message. Just save that. There we go. Let's rerun this page. Mm, I think we are done here. So let me just refresh the page. There we go. So if I go to, let's say, CSS property not being applied, let's say I make sure to add the semi dash colon at the end of the property. Okay, so it, it throws an error uh, when we try to add it. Okay, so for this we said display topics, um, URL four, so return redirect. So if the user adds any task, we say description request that form task description, and we pass in the topic ID as the topic ID, db dot session dot add task. Hmm. So this part. Method is post. Just take a look at the form. So slash add slash task. Uh, topic ID. It's going to have the topic ID. Um, what am I missing here? Okay. Hmm. I'm not really sure. For category, category. Uh, and message in get flushed messages with categories true this and it should show the message so it is not showing the message let's save this let's come in here and okay where is the message hmm. I'm just going over this just to make sure everything is correct we have selected the task description from there. If not, then we want to show this. If it is, then we want to say task added successfully. Mm -hmm. It says URL. So if I just just refresh the page, it's gonna so it's not gonna know where it is, where it should go. The requested URL was not found on the server. It wasn't found on the server. Okay, not found. In the paragraph, the requested URL. So why was it not found? So we basically say display tasks, URL for display tasks, and we pass in the topic ID as the topic ID because we want to redirect to it, right? So it is add task, topic ID. We have add topic, method, post. So we, we did have this post method added in here as well. Topic ID. I, I'm, I'm not sure what the issue is. Everything seems all right to me. So if I redirect it to this one, it's going to be display tasks, topic slash this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure the error is right here in this, in this block. If not request not f dot form, if not request that forum is task description flash message request flash redirect request hmm. uh, task for category have i misspelled anything so these two are the same so i'm just going to copy this div from here 
and I'm going to put it beneath it. So no, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Something is... So we have our div. We just provide some space. There we go. So everything is fine. I don't know why it's... I'm just going to remove the previous one. Save this. So we have set category. It's not showing this message for category and message. Let me save this. Um, coding addition. Let me just close the server and rerun it. Let's see if there are any errors now. Let's go to CSS. Click on it. It says not found. Slash add slash task slash. Where is the task ID? The task must have an ID. So if I go back to this Flask server, if I click on it, it doesn't have an ID even though uh, uh, because the task was not added. So if I click on it, it's not getting the task ID. Hmm. Let us take a look at our database. So I'm going to say select uh, from tasks. Oh, it's not even being uh, added to our database. I'm not sure what the issue is in here and it's been 21 minutes so I'm forced to stop the lecture at this point I don't want to waste your time because honestly I'm not sure what the issue is uh, it's at task um, at task it's, it's on this ID and when the task is added it's going to be redirected to this topic ID display tasks display tasks and we have had display topics for the previous one display topics redirect so task description request that form task is it spelled correctly task description Let's just copy that save this and I'm going to grab both of them I'm going to add it there Hmm. There we go. <laughs> Still not happening for oh this is capital. Why is this capital? It should be lowercase. <laughs> so you can see how very, very sensitive the server is. Still not working. So there might be a problem here. So we have said request that form title and if not request that form so that is correct uh the description title there we go with the topic everything is added correctly so task description let me just add a task first oh it, it doesn't work still form what am I not seeing? So I'm forced to pause this video and uh, you're going to see me in one second, but I have to figure out what is the problem here. So I did find where the issue was. Uh, the issue is within this form that we have added here, that's this action. We have set topic ID, but we have not actually referred this to any variable, any template variable. Now we need to grab the topic and from from there we need to grab the topic ID because what this action attribute is going to do is this is going to handle the submission of the form and I'm sorry for this extra hassle that you had to go through you need to say topic dot topic ID I know that we are getting topic but from which variable it is that we want to get this topic ID you need to specifically specify like in this case we just we have said title but from which variable from the topic if you remove the topic this title has no meaning the same goes with this one so now if I just save it and if I run this there we go so if I come to CSS and if I click on it you can see it says enter a description for your new task if you add a task it's going to add it and it's going to say task added successfully and with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.